Amazing about Auburn. Look how far back they are. They have the little hop where they come in that sets their feet. Nice charge by Cooper coming in and taking that on the short hop. She had to come a long way from behind the bag to pick that up and throw on the run. Michelle, you mentioned the high hop that Auburn's defense does. Just their infield. And what they'll do is they hop up, getting at the top of their jump right at contact. So when they, they land, they're able to react quicker. You see them all simultaneously go up in the air. This is actually coming from Corey Myers, the assistant coach for Auburn, picked it up from tennis. Actually, Bobby Dickerson, who was his coach of the Diamondbacks, picked it up from tennis. They always hop before they receive a ball. Sky to shallow center, and Carasoni will take charge. Two down. And watch all of them in the air. Specifically, look at Fagan right there at shortstop. I mean, she's a good three to four feet in the air. And it's a scary feeling, you guys. I mean, think about it. That's almost at contact. And they're up in the air like that, but they practice it so much that as soon as they hit the ground, they react without that false step you would normally get. Change just misses. Two and out. Oh. Well, Justin, you talk about the false step. One of the other reasons that, you know, the coaches have them do this is because a lot of younger athletes can't drive off of both legs. They only drive off their strong leg. Well, he even said to look at a comparison of when they land on a, a batter that's hit, con when they make contact versus one that takes a pitch, and you'll actually see one leg extend because they're reacting to extend and go that direction versus just in a soft landing so super interesting something very unique to softball that was taken in from baseball ball four. well Justin you talk about the false step one of the other reasons that you know the coaches have them do this is because a lot of younger athletes can't drive off of both legs they only drive off their strong leg well he even said to look at a comparison of when they land on a, a batter that's hit con when they make contact versus one that takes a pitch and you'll actually see one leg extend because they're reacting to extend and go that direction versus just in a soft landing so super interesting something very unique to softball that was taken in from baseball ball four you don't see it in many other places so why aren't more people doing it what's the other side of that story i think Honestly, no one really knows about it. I think this has been something we, we learned last year at the SEC tournament when we saw Auburn do, do it. Yep. And I think a lot of teams are scared to do it. And Corey even told me, this is something you have to practice. I mean, obviously, it, it could go wrong if you don't do it correctly. It, definitely. It's all about timing. You don't want to be up in the air when the ball's whizzing past you because yeah. you can't move. And the amount of reps that this team takes. I mean, they led the conference in fielding percentage throughout most of the season. So obviously, they, they do it well. Taylor Koenig here. Tennessee has its first base runner. And there you see the hop from the four positions on the uh, skin infield. You know, this is something that ASU also did under the Myers coaching regime. And um, it just wasn't as pronounced. And that's one of the things that we've asked them, well, why didn't we see ASU doing that? And they're like, well, we did do it. It just maybe wasn't as pronounced. They didn't get as high as Haley Fagan does in shortstop. Or yeah. A good two to three <laughs> feet up in the air. She's got to be tired by the end of the game. Doing some extra squats, some extra jumps. Dustin Pedroia is an example of a player in, in baseball now that does it. He goes a little forward with his hop. As do most tennis players as well. Everyone in the field, you want to find something that gets yourself into a good athletic position to where 50% of your range comes from getting yourself in a good position as that ball is getting into the hitting zone. And as you can see, the one we got here. Pedroia a little bit unorthodox, but gets himself into that position almost like a tennis player getting ready to receive a serve but it puts himself in a very good position to move laterally, to move forward if he needs to, or to retreat on the ball if he wants to hit it over his head. 